Hello everybody, today we are going to do an update on a few of our projects, mostly the ecosphere, and right now we're looking at the fairy shrimp, the sole survivor of the triop tanks, just floating in this bed of hair algae. It's quite interesting. Also, because of the color correction on my phone, this isn't a, uh, this isn't yellow, it's green. Alright, so I have opened the Ecosphere once. This will be the only time, I promise. I did it to put a bit of algae into the water, because I don't really think the algae growing on the rocks is something the Daphnia can eat. I also wanted to get a bit of airflow to it. And also, there's something weird like that. What is that? I can assure you that I did not add this to the tank. It's some weird dot moving around. And upon closer inspection, it's clearly an ostracod. The only way I can explain how this could possibly be here is because at one point it may have been mixed in with the triop kit that everything from the Daphne of the fairy shrimp and the triops had hatched from, and this just now hatched. It's also possible that there were ostracods in the first triop jar that I'd hatched, but they were possibly eaten by the triops because I noticed that as the triops grew, they started eating the other uh, things, and that's why I moved them all. Okay, I've added a female from one of the brine shrimp tanks to the big time toy sea monkey tank. Uh, the adult male sea monkey was very aggressive and so was this female so I decided to put them in and now they've become a pair well they've split up but hopefully they'll produce viable offspring <laughs> 